everyone, it's Danielle with Monish Schmitten and I'm here with Nikki from This Blissful Moment. Hey guys. We are here filming a fall tag of beauty, skincare, fashion, everything we love for the best cocktails. season. Cocktails. And cocktails. We're drinking already because like, why It's not? 10 a.m. Yeah. So There's anyway. No judgment. Yeah. No um, judgment at all. Yeah, our fall cocktail, we snagged this off Pinterest and it's just um, champagne and apple cider. Easy enough. Easy. And it's so good. So if you're having a holiday party, it's like so simple to throw. You can even probably put it in a pumpkin. Oh, that'd be really cute. <laughs> I know. I like that idea. You can just <laughs> scoop out a pumpkin and like throw all your cocktails in there with some sliced apples and you're good to go for your holiday party. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Well, if you want to see what we love this fall, keep watching. Cheers. All right. Our first topic for today is our favorite fall makeup look and we're going to talk about lipsticks, eyeshadow, um, and everything that goes along with it. So first, we're going to talk about lipsticks because I feel like that's the go-to for fall. I think Flip in summertime, out. you know, it's so hot, like you don't really want to wear a ton of makeup, but now that it's getting cool out, which it's kind of freezing here actually today, um, lipsticks are like huge. You'll see everyone racking like a bold lip. So mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have Danielle talk about her lipstick first. Okay, perfect. So I have two of my favorites. I rocked these probably up in, into like winter because I love them so much. And I'm a firm believer of like mixing high end and low end makeup. Totally. I love all different brands. So I have one high end, well, one high end and one low end. Um, this is ColourPop. And you can only get them Color online. Pop. So sometimes it's hard because you can't really see them. Like, no, they're coming to Sephora. Stop. <laughs> How yeah. did I not know this? Okay, so ColourPop is coming to Sephora. And my oh my morning. god, what's coming to Ulta? Something's coming to Ulta that you could usually only buy online. I don't know. Oh man, I can't. I cannot remember. But ColourPop she is coming my life. to Sephora. It's weird because ColourPop's like a low. It's like six, seven dollars. Yeah, like low price point. But they're going to Sephora, and whatever's coming to Ulta is like a high price point item. That's weird. So yeah, so I'm cool. not, it's kind of odd. But yes, they're coming to Sephora, and I think it's soon. Okay. Well, good. Now you can get this in Sephora. Hopefully My other soon. favorite beauty bloggers dropped that bomb on me a couple weeks ago, and I was like, "Wow!" Ooh, now I'm so happy. Yeah. Because now I can get all my yes. colorpops there. But prior to you can only order it. You can only order it, and I'm like, "Crap! Is it gonna look good?" But they yeah. always do. I kid you not. They're mm -hmm. so. I have a couple. Yeah. So this is called Dopey by ColourPop, and it is like a, a really deep mauve pink mm -hmm. color. I think it looks absolutely perfect. Yes. I on everybody. It. You could wear that any season. Mm -hmm. And it's a liquid lip, and I was so afraid of liquid lipsticks because I have really dry lips. Same. And I was like, crap, I'm going to put this on and it's going to flake. Or you see like the lip yes. lines? Or if I don't have liner because I'm not, I don't know. I love lip liner, the trend. I, I'm like all about it, but to match this because they, yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, they do sell, do they, they sell, do they do. They sell lip line, liners that I think match, but I just don't have time. I don't have time either. I want to put it on. And out of even like my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lips mm -hmm. compared to this, I choose ColourPop any day over them because yeah, the way that. they feel and everything. So this is a nice mauve color, which I love. And then higher end, this is Kat Von D. It's called Cathedral, which I'm probably sure you can't see this far away, but it is like a cinnamony oh, like that one. red color. And it's perfect where you just dab it on and you can get a little bit of color or you, you have can really, I do not. Oh, looks cute though. Thank you. It's very similar though. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks almost like so. Identical. Either a mauve or like a cinnamony just works with my skin tone, my hair color. I yeah, feel totally. and those are my absolute go-tos. I pack them everywhere with me, everywhere I go and travel awesome. in the fall. Okay, so for mine, mine are both low end. Um, most of my makeup, honestly, is from the drugstore or Ulta. Um, I don't know. I think I feel like I go through it so much. <laughs> But I'm like That's always so wanting though. to try something new that I'm like, I can't pay $30 for lipstick because I'm, Absolutely. number one, I hate lipstick. It's rare that you're going to see me in a photo with lipstick. I just don't like it. Um, I have dry lips too, so I feel like that's a big reason why I don't wear lipstick. Like, I, I don't know, like, I feel like it doesn't, like, it doesn't sit well on my lips and then, you know, I'm always drinking coffee or something, so I just get annoyed with it. Yeah. But my way of getting a pop of color is um, this new Ulta um, Lasting Color Stain. It's a lip gloss stain. Ooh. So most of the time when you wear a stained lip, it's very faint. Yeah. Like, it almost just looks like your lipstick has worn off and you have some color sitting on Absolutely. it. Absolutely, I know but exactly the actually, look you're talking about. Yes, this is actually really bold. Um, and like you can see like how pigmented it is. So you 
wear it, but it's not dry. Like it feels almost like a lip oil. I like that. Like a lip gloss, but but it's bold and it gives you color without like that dryingness since we kind of talked is about that. Is it sticky? That. Is it, is it? No. I love that. It's not. Because nothing's worse when you're taking a sip of coffee or like wine or a cocktail yes. and you're like, there's all my lipstick Which globbed on the rim like of the coffee. It's like a huge problem with matte lipsticks. Yeah. They're very dry and they like, they're sticky and they just don't really, they don't wear well. They mm -hmm. look great when you first put them on. This one like will wear away into a stain. I so like, like that. as you're going through your day, like it will be really bright and I'm like to get this poppy. Now. And it's, I think it's $9, I believe. And Ulta always has like buy two, get one free. Oh, or and the Ulta one, line, one, yeah. yeah. The Ulta line. Yeah. Really quick, if you're in the US, and you have CVS around you, they have their beauty line, which is Beauty 360. Um, I think they only have two of these. It's a lip oil. Um, it's very like lightly pigmented. There's almost no pigment at all. I have it on now and you could probably tell it, it doesn't show at all. But how it's called an oil. It's an oil. So it feels, it has a sensation like a lip gloss or a look like lip gloss, but it's not sticky at all. So check it out. I think this is like $4. And I've already gotten a couple people hooked on it. So. All right, I'm gonna go get this yeah, now. <laughs> check it out. They're hard to find. The ladies at CVS didn't even know like what I was talking about. They're they're hard to find because it's like their own line. But try and find it because it's totally worth it. Uh, sticking with makeup, this has gotten a lot of love. It's not really, uh, it's not Instagram like ready. <laughs> My makeup is Instagram, not right. Instagram, not Instagram no. ready. I can't even talk. This thing has been know. used. <laughs> And abused it's gone on many a trips like mm -hmm. half of these pans are empty which i feel like is a good sign that that makeup is good like if oh, you yeah. hit pan like that thing is worth it okay so Absolutely. i actually got this eyeshadow from my mother-in-law for my birthday last year i don't even want to hear comments about the expiration dates i don't do you when know I, how much makeup i have that's past my expiration date it's like six months no no this eyeshadow is powder i don't give a shit <laughs> I day. totally agree. I have the Naked 2 palette still from yes. like three years okay, ago. Mascara. And someone's like, you can't use that. Yes, I can. Mascara, I get it. Like it's clumpy. You get yeah, it. mascara gets clumpy. And, and honestly, like, out. yeah, it doesn't that. look good. Lipsticks even, they get kind of dried out. Powders. They, okay, but eyeshadow? No. Even my foundation. Like, not that I even, I go through foundation like, I go through wine. So I wouldn't know what that's like to have an <laughs> expired foundation. <laughs> but if I did, I would use it. Okay, so this thing's old. But it is... They still sell it. It's a 12 piece eyeshadow palette and it's all matte. I love matte eyeshadows. I really just can't figure out how to rock the shimmer eye. I'm just not good at it. So um, the reason I love this is because it has like all these dark, Ooh, like they're warm too and, red. and I yeah. love them. And so for fall, I love that they're like warm toned. Um, and I always recommend getting a palette if you can that has a black because I use it as like an eyeliner um, when I'm not looking to have a really heavy like winged eyeliner or something and I just need a little touch of um, depth, I'll use that. Um, so I love this. As you can see, I use it a ton. But um, these colors, everyone I see them on, they look gorgeous. So check it out if, you're, if you've been questioning it because I think this palette's only 20 bucks, maybe less. So You can't beat that I though. Know. When they're pigmented and they blend well, you're yes, like, Yes, and they are. They're really pigmented. So check it out. I love that. All right, so I'm going more. I think for the fall, I love lashes and like glowy skin. Yeah. I love it. Like, I sometimes am too lazy. Like, right now I have eyeshadow on, obviously for filming purposes, but yeah. a lot of the time. Don't want to look dead. But. Don't look dead. Yeah. But a lot of the time, I don't um, wear a lot of eyeshadow. And I'm trying to do more like lashes and liner. I'm still working on liquid liner. Like, I'm not good at Dude, it. Get a marker. That's I need, my tip. I need to get one. But <laughs> so, my girlfriends know I'm big into makeup. And a lot of the time, they're like, how do you like do this and this this and these two are my favorite drugstore go-to's i believe in matt when it comes to mascara you do not have to buy 30 dollars mascara no. i feel like when it comes to maybe foundations or concealers if you're really big into like sensitive skin or like have yes. something going on with your face spend a little more totally because of the you know quality of the product because that's like your home your, your base it like, is it's going get... in on in and on your skin mm -hmm. you need to look a little better but Absolutely. um my two go-to's um everyone knows who jacqueline hill is she oh, for sure she always uses Milan. Look at it. There's no label on it because I use it so, so much. Yeah, and I've heard about this one. It's Luminoso mm -hmm. by Milani. It is the best blush mm -hmm. in the entire world. I'm actually wearing it now. You cannot see probably because I'm so far away, but it is shimmery, peachy. It's just, mm -hmm. it is the best. I, it, I have been looking for it. I just haven't 
actually like gotten to buy it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not. Sometimes when I go to all these Walgreens, it, this one isn't in stock. Right. I do. I'm like, like, how the hell does that happen? Well, I use this all the time, and everyone asks me like, what blush is that? I'm like, Milani. I kid you not. Seven, eight bucks. My favorite blush. It does come with a little mirror and a brush too. Um, the brush isn't here. I don't use the brush, but the mirror always helps. Mm -hmm. If you want to take it on the go. That's actually cool. Another packaging is cute too. But then for lashes, I love, love, love lashes. I think they're the, <laughs> they're my favorite thing to like try to grow and make beautiful. <clears throat> this mascara, I used to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I was just a ride or die for that. But then Everyone I realized, lies, you know, I man, it's like, isn't it like 25 bucks yeah. or 20 bucks? I'm like, it's $25. Oh, you know, the mascara gets clumpy. Quick. Quick. Especially, Especially when, when you use it every day. Yeah. And I feel like even when you don't have a lot of makeup on, you're like, oh, just a quick little oh, lash. Totally. You look a little like more going alive. going to the gym, I'm like, well. Oh, I do. Well. <laughs> oh, I do. Hands down. I'm going to go to the if gym. If there's I'm one like, thing, I'm like, it's mascara. I'm like, not leaving this house. Absolutely. So I use, um, this is by Maybelline. It's the Colossal Volume Express Cat Eye. And has a look. You can find it because it just has like a little cheetah mm -hmm. print. This came out years ago. I don't think I've, I've ever tried that one. It is so amazing. Really? This is, um, it comes in waterproof and not waterproof. What kind of like uh, brush does it have on it? It has like a U-shaped brush. Mine's mm -hmm. obviously really gross, but it is. Oh, but um, it has like the real, like not the plasticky. No, not like the plasticky. Plastic it's like more of a. I can't get mine those. Yeah, it's like more of a wandy mm -hmm. and it's a nice U-shape. It gives you, I don't know what it does. I don't have to try that. It is just insta-beautiful lash. Perfect. And I do a waterproof and a not waterproof because when I go to the gym, all my gym trainers are gonna make fun of me because they know they watch, they follow me. <laughs> I do put on makeup and I have to use the waterproof or it's like they see black around me when I sweat so much. But then in normal, because waterproof mascara, you know you scrub your eyes when oh, you totally. like, take that off. So then I use the not waterproof, but this one is my ride or die for the drugstore. It's always available and I, I can't look I'm totally it. gonna try that because I'm always like trying new mascaras. I feel like if there's something that I'm always willing to try, it's new mascara. Oh yeah, especially like, I'm always like, like a oh, drugstore, I always wanna try <laughs> that it. One looks Pretty by that one. Mm -hmm. All right, so moving on. Wait, oops, wrong one. I'll start over. We're outside, so I mean, obviously you can tell we're outside. It's like a little windy. There's bugs flying around, so I'm sorry. I keep touching my hair. I, that's my worst. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm like, and I'm also hungover. I'm just throwing that out there. So I don't Saturday really know. Morning. That's why we're so far away. <laughs> we're also. That's hungover. why we're also drinking hair of the dog because uh, I am tired. You can rage though. You mm -hmm. rallied. So, I swear. Still raging at 31. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm trying. I had wristbands on this morning. I woke up with wristbands. I was like, oh, it's like spring break. <laughs> it's the worst where you have like stamps to bars. You're like, yeah. we didn't go there. Yeah. Wait, crap, we went there. Oh, totally. Yeah. Absolutely. I know you're feeling. I know you're feeling. All, right. All right. So, talking about lashes, um, more like in the skincare mm -hmm. beauty world, I thought for months of getting like lash extensions. I'm like, I'm gonna do it, I'm yeah. gonna do it. And then I realized, oh my God, do you want me to drain my savings account? Getting yeah, they're lashes? expensive. My friends are like, I know this one girl, she's 300 to put them on and then and I- And you lose your lashes. Yes. So like those are, they only last yeah. so long. And it's sad that a steal is like 300. I'm like, that's a, that's a, that's a discount? It's you know $300? And then it's $75 for, for $300? Then every three weeks, it's $75 to put like a fill. It's like no. you're getting, it's like reminds me of when you've got acrylic nails, you gotta get a fill. I'm like, oh what? I found the secret, this is a splurge. This is, um, it's called Lash Boost by Rodan and Fields. And I went to a party, I bought it. Cause I'm like, you know what? A hundred bucks or whatever it is. And I kid you not, I have before and after pictures. It works like a charm. There is also was, another brand that makes that. Another blogger I saw makes another brand of yeah. like a serum. And if you're interested in like Lash Boost or you see other serums and you see before and after, like just mm -hmm. try it, I recommend because not Latisse. I hope my dermatologist told me like no Latisse, like don't try that. I don't, maybe Less, that's what I was thinking of. Oh, I haven't used I it. Know. I don't know. I, I just know there's other either. ones out there. I just, yeah. I don't so know. a lash serum, I use it and it does take time and I'm not a patient mm -hmm. person, but I'm like, all right. <laughs> Give it four weeks. I want like this and then I want like beautiful okay. luminous lashes. But um, I use this for 10 weeks and it is ridiculous how my lashes mm. grew. And then with the That's mascara too, I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like it was amazing. And then also people who can't like eyebrow wise, I was, I was blessed with- I was gonna say, um, that's what I've told, what I've yeah. heard that you can put it on your eyebrows. Yeah, and I, luckily I've been blessed with like, I can easily grow eyebrows. That's really weird to say. <laughs> awesome talent to have. <laughs> I can Nowadays. just grow eyebrows, yeah. um, even though, of course, everyone has like. Do you ever rock like the sperm eyebrows that are really thin? Oh, God. 
I did. And I have pictures of like my freshman yes. year of college. And I will like, say like so thin. I want to say like only like a few years ago when eyebrows like started getting really big. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna not touch you for a really long time. And like kind of like to. didn't touch them. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, I like got all the like little random ones that are like truly like just out there that need to be plucked. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yes, we all rock those sperm eyebrows. Oh yeah. So yeah, you can use on your eyebrows, lashes, it helps. Yeah. So then, um, lastly, I talked about glowy skin. And this is by First Aid Beauty. You can get it at Sephora, you can get it also at Ulta. They range in price too. So some, mm. like, sometimes the face wash is like $13. So it's not mm -hmm. really anything crazy, but I've had this forever. It's, it's about, a mask? It's a mask. And it is like a jelly mask you put on the night before I like, go into something. And it makes your face so hydrated and so glowy. Perfect for winter coming Yes. Up. I use it all the time. That's awesome. And I've still had this. You just like, it looks weird. It's like gel. Oh yeah, gel. it is like gel. <laughs> so I use this, I mean, probably once every couple weeks or whatever, mm -hmm. and it just, it is an instant refresh. That's good. And I don't, I, I do get facials every now and then, but they're expensive. Oh, I've never like, had one. It's expensive. So I don't have that ha ha like I hobby probably or should habit. Have one, I don't. Because I have acne prone skin and I feel like I probably should have one, but yeah. I'll just like pop my own pills. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys. Going along with moisturizing type things for winter and fall, um, I also have something that I use and I love it because it's very moisturizing. But this is, and this is also, I mean, I guess everything I have is budget friendly today. <laughs> oh, but this hard candy, which if you're old enough, you remember hard candy nail polish coming out like forever ago. <laughs> Most of you probably aren't old enough, but uh, I was probably like 10 when hard candy nail polish started coming out and it was a female entrepreneur who started that company and she started it and I wanna say she was only like 16 or 17. I will have to fact check that because I'm not actually positive, uh, but that makes me love this brand even more. That yeah. It's like a girl, like boss, like just Hell yeah. kinda kicking ass like in yeah. the 90s, like good for you. Uh, so normally like you can roll it up, but I used it all. And it's blue and you, um, will put your moisturizer on and then you kind of just like rub it all over your face and like rub it in. And I was worried it would make my face oily. Um, and it also feels like a glue stick. Very Touch good. it. I feel, it's okay. Like, it's like, <laughs> I was like, it smells and feels like a glue stick. And that turned me off. It's but not sticky though. It's not, but it is like you put it on. It's like really moisturizing, but it also almost feels like you've like put on like a little bit of like something for your makeup to stick to. That's good though. Yeah, and it's super moisturizing. So you've almost like locked in your moisturizer and then you can put your makeup on. And I love it and I wanna say it's six bucks. It lasted me like a month. So mm -hmm. I, I use the shit out of it though. I mean, I'm sure cer certain people like don't use primer every day. I Now that I'm into the primer thing, I'm obsessed with it. So yeah. I use it every day, even if I'm just putting on like BB cream. <laughs> I'm like, I need primer. Need the primer. <laughs> yeah, so um, it blurs all your like lines and stuff. So I tr check it out and they actually have, I want to say four or five of them um, that do different things. Like this is their coconut water one, but I think they have an illuminating one. They have a pore refining one. So That's good. Um, they have it for like different skin types too. Yeah, you and know? I like that it's a stick. I like that too. Because I don't have to squeeze it on my hands and rub it. Like I can just, you know, do my thing and just kind of like put and it in place. sense it's like product control too. Because yeah. you know what I mean? Sometimes I overdo it on the foundation. I'm like, I need two pumps. And really I'm like, oh no, it's like on the back of my right. head. I'm the queen of over. Yeah, I went through a foundation in that. <laughs> um, All right, we're on to fashion. Yes. The best part. Fall fashion. The part we're most comfortable with. <laughs> Let's talk about what we're wearing first. Because okay. we have not actually even... We're so comfy Remotely. right now and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> like, spoken about what we're wearing. Um, Go for it. Okay, so one of my favorite fall fashions, which I actually didn't know what Danielle was gonna show up in, so I didn't know she was gonna wear a sweatshirt with, <laughs> like, what do we call these, like, crew neck? I call them trendy crew necks because... But is that what type of sweatshirt is called? This is a crew neck, a crew neck. yes. Yeah. Like, See, I have been really obsessed with um, crew neck sweatshirts, like, starting last winter. And um, I think I like them just because they're less, a little less bulky. Although I do love like a, a sweatshirt with a hood yeah. and like a coat. I think that's super that's, cute. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know, like an oversized sweatshirt. I actually bought this um, from Fern Boutique, which you know if you follow us, we love um, our friend Laura who owns Fern Boutique. We wear all of her clothes all the time. She's wearing her pants right now, which I shoes. also own. <laughs> like, I'm a shoes. I love them. She's wearing the pants that I wanted to wear, so I couldn't wear them. Um, <laughs> So 
I love them. I actually bought this like a size up because I like them to be a little bit baggier, um, especially yeah. for leggings or just like lay, like laying around the house and stuff like that. So I'm wearing one. It's covered in cactus. Cacti? Those are so cute. Cactuses? Cacti. Cacti? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. So, um, not that we have these in Michigan. But it's fun. But I liked it. So, and I feel like they're super trendy right now. I like how it's two-tone, how it's like two different textures yeah, it is, right it's there. Probably like, hard to see on the camera, but it's really cool. Uh, it is, and the like the waistband is as well. So I decided to go comfy as well. Um, I got this from Adorn Boutique. It's in Frankenmuth, and it, okay, I say Frankenmuth. It's not right. Frankenmuth. Franken I it's got this there. It's our little there. like um, little Ger German. Germany. Germany. German town, like a little Dutch area. Dutch. It's Dutch. Dutch. I'm like, that's not right. I got this there. It says basic witch on it with the Starbucks logo. <laughs> and it's cute. And I am not one to be like corny when I'm like, it's corny, cute. Like, I don't know, but I saw it and I'm like, I love Starbucks no, it's more than totally anything. Cute. And it's subtle where it's like, I don't know. It's I sometimes just love being like overly trendy. Exactly. I feel like that's what both of these are like cactus, cacti, yeah. succul succulents, all of those, like Starbucks kind of thing. It's really trendy. It gets really popular on Instagram. Yeah. Um, like if you do it subtly, really it's perfect. It. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's like a good way to sneak in like some trendy stuff without being like, Absolutely. I am. I, what's your favorite um, like fall? Go to? Go to. I am an avid component of like a legging, over the knee boot, jacket or sweater, mm -hmm. like hair in a bun and like whatever. I always mm -hmm. think like if my outfit's really cute, I can like do less with this yes. sort of thing. <laughs> do, do that. So I have three things I'm gonna show you real quick. Um, one is, and I'm gonna insert a Wait. clip of me. Oops. <laughs> I think you have I have this. I think you I have this in blue. You do? I think that, yeah. It's from Nordstrom. Did you get it there? Oh no, I got it from Fern. Oh. Oh, never mind. But okay. I was like, oh my God, I have that same coat. <laughs> and we're like, uh-uh, we got the same one. This is an open oh, back sweater. That's from Fern. It is, and it's, oh, I'll insert a clip of me um, right here wearing it, because it's hard to see like, you know, open back, but mm -hmm. it's just a really pretty long sweater. The back is open, and then um, I was anti bralette trained what? for a long time. I was. Why? I'm like, I don't know. Women's if I like nip out, or I don't know. I was like so weird about it. But gotta, if I have any reason to this wear this, is the a cutest bralette, bralette from Fern Boutique. This is from Fern Boutique as well. And um, they have tons of bralettes. Too. Oh my tons. god, and they're padded too, mm -hmm. which is that's I'm like, Thank and you. if you get one that comes like because some of them, the make the the people that make them, like they don't sell them with the inserts like yeah. the pads but you can buy them she sells them too oh so if you need them you that's perfect them on the side yeah so as you can see um that sweater is really cute and i love it with like leggings over the knee boot totally. and then i um got a nordstrom note in the mail so i'm like i'm gonna splurge but it wasn't that much like you know nordstrom sometimes i'm like oh, that's only 60 dollars for a jacket and then i'm like this one's so adorable oh that's burberry that's 329 like, okay. <laughs> you know what i mean i'm like ooh. And this is from levi's um i think i only paid less than a hundred of this because I had a note and this is a nice little moto jacket. Oh my god, moto jackets are the I'll best. Them. I've been rocking my nose um, It is so cute. I think I wore this. I wore this to Nashville a few weeks ago and everyone in... It's perfect for Nashville. And everyone's... Oh my god. It was 100 degrees though, but in the airport I felt really trendy. You know? <gasps> like I said, fall fashion is made for the Midwest. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh that's so cute, but I, I just like honestly cute tennis shoes, leggings, this moto jacket. And some people are like, you're... I love that look on you. I'm like, I, Dude, I look like a plain bum, but like, tennis shoes are yeah such a great way. Jacket, like, and I'll link just below. That's what we should actually like sneakers and booties for fall. That's probably all I'll wear. Um, okay, so my favorite, which I actually have a jacket as well. Oh, see, jackets are the best. And this has been all over my Instagram. This is like not, I love that this jacket. Is not new. I bought this at Goodwill, but it's from Target. How do you find these things I, at Goodwill? I don't know. I actually bought this also a size up. It's a size large, but I wanted it to be like a little bit. Baggy. I'm with you. I hate when coats like suck yeah. your arms and you're like, I you wanted, can't if move. If I was gonna and layer it, I'm like, I can't. I don't. Yeah, like you know where your arms is tight. You're like, you're like <laughs> the guy you from feel like Christmas like, Story. <laughs> you're just sitting there like whatever this. his name is. Yeah. Um. Anyways, I, if you were to look at my closet right now, it's pretty much gray, chambray, like jean, and black. Like, I really don't have a ton of colors. Like, I'm not. I'm not really drawn to like brightly colored clothing. Yeah, I'm the I same. Don't know why. I'm like, obviously the same one. <laughs> and but lately, I've been for fall like really into like getting statement pieces. So like my favorite thing to do is either to have my accessories be the thing that is like eye catching. So either it's like a clutch or your purse or your shoes or a jacket, um, whatever. 
sorry <laughs> it's blowing my hair in my face um so this like i love because it's bright and it's colorful but it's not like overwhelming yeah so like statement jackets are like my jam right now whether it's like um like actual like suit coat type things or blazers or these moto jackets i have a blue moto jacket that's really similar to danielle's and i love it um and it's just easy because you can throw it on and like with just a black t-shirt you feel so trendy and you're, like, you? you're like put together Woo! you feel so awesome inside i'm not but on the outside i, I am. look amazing <laughs> okay my other favorite thing um because like right now oh my, my hair God, is i love that my, my hair is like a disaster right now because like i said i woke up and tried to get ready really fast um i love little beanies i love them like i just think They're it's perfect. such a cute little fun way um to like jazz up your fall outfit and if you don't want to do your hair it's like even better and it's really windy in bay city in the thumb of michigan in general it's just really windy out here we're right by the bay obviously um same with midland it's yeah. windy and so like your hair sometimes like it's just a nightmare like trying to like deal with it even detroit you're off the river like just downtown I can, detroit can get windy i and can like, mm -hmm. i mean it's not like chicago but it's it's windy um so i love this one because it has little eyelashes on it and i ah, bought it from h and m i feel like that i need that i, I love know. it oh my god <laughs> you totally do i bought this last year though i bought this in like oh, in see, the that's summer so cute i love that and that's like those are my two favorite things like accessories that like jump out at you for fall absolutely and winter. i think beanies are perfect especially when you find them at h and m and like target like and they're like five bucks yes yes i actually think i'm not kidding you because I'm not joking. I think I bought this for a dollar. I love it. Because it was like clear it's summer and it was like where they had like extra 50% off. I was like, I think that's 75 cents. <laughs> love so it. I bought it. So yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for coming and spending probably way too much time with us talking about <laughs> nonsense stuff yes. and drinking our mimosas, <clears throat> which we finished. Um, it's fall in Michigan. I hope you guys have some fall weather by you because yes. it's probably our favorite season. Yes, and, the best. Um, yeah stop by again and thanks for following us and go follow all those boutiques as well yes we'll link everything below and have a great weekend bye guys bye.